Alright yo, what's up guys, Cove here today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a free custom email. So that is like, you know, your name at example.com. And you know, obviously instead of example, it would be, you know, your domain name. But basically, you know, usually those cost a lot of money. You got to pay, you know, at a minimum $6 for one email address. And that's kind of expensive, especially when you're a new business or you just want this to say you have it or whatever. It's kind of expensive. Um, there is a free service that allows you to get up to five email addresses for free. It's called Zoho.com. I've used it a lot before. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty simple to set up and I really like it. So I'm just going to be showing you how to use it today. It's completely free, no credit card required um, or anything like that. Um, you do, the only, the only thing that you have to have is a domain name, which, you know, they're like 12 bucks a year or whatever. So. Um, for most domains so if you already have a domain great if you don't I think you can buy one from here but uh anyways guys let's get started all right so anyways you want to go to zoho.com I'll leave the link in the description and you also want to make sure that you have another email address just like a gmail or whatever to do the rip to do the signing up with beforehand because you do need an email address so anyways let's get that so you know I have my gmail pulled up as you know because you know for an example right and anyways pretty much what you're gonna do is once you're on the site just click free sign up and then it's going to ask a couple of things um, what I what I like to do is I just like to use sign in with Google if you have Google or whatever and I'm just gonna sign up with my account real quick um, but you can sign up with any of those other methods it doesn't really matter all right now it's gonna ask a couple of things it's gonna ask for your first name and last name and then also for your state if you're in the US so let's put mine down Oregon and uh, pretty much yeah I'm just gonna click create account because that all looks good make sure you agree to the terms um, I am so yeah alright so now you're gonna see all this you're gonna see some of our most popular apps um, what I like to do is I what we're just gonna do is click mail and pretty much it's gonna ask a couple of things but what we want to do is we just want to click get custom emails and I can just click access Zoho mail and here we go it's gonna ask for a phone number so I you're gonna need a valid EOS phone number um, I'm gonna put mine in real quick so uh, let me do that All right, it's going to ask for the verification code. Um, there we go. I'm going to check. I should have just gotten it. Um, just going to wait for this to load. Okay. Yeah, I have it right here. So I'm just going to paste that in. Like so. And I'm going to click verify. It says congratulations. And then anyways, you just want to go back. And it's going to say create doma domain based in you know email account in Zoho and basically you just want to pick the top option you don't want to do it at Zoho mail you want to at your domain name so anyways click continue and then you're gonna it's gonna be like you know hey wait why are you trying to charge me here and just scroll all the way down and then just use this one we also have a free plan for you up to five users five gigabytes and you know whatever just click that one it says try now but there isn't any um, expiration date it's a permanent thing and then anyways you're gonna have two options you can add your existing domain like we're gonna do or you can buy a new domain um, it really depends on what you want to do but just note that if you have to buy a new domain you're gonna have to pay Zoho for the domain only um, but also there's advantages to that like for example you don't have to go through all the setup that I'm gonna have to go through and most people are gonna have to go through to get their existing domain to work with it so anyways that's up to you but if you already have one like I do just click add now and then it's going to ask you a couple things. So, for example, I'm going to go over to my domain here. I'm going to be using Google Domains, but this is my domain name right here, highvelocityrobox.org. It's for a school project, so, you know, yeah. And then, you know, just provide your organization name, um, you know, whatever, High Velocity Robox. An industry type. Now, um, you know, just put whatever you want here. I'm just going to do technology, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but we're just going to click add and see if it works. All right, no, it doesn't. Okay, let me just uh, 
figure out here. Uh, we'll just put it under telecommunications. <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter what you put that under. All right, now it says, congratulations, your domain has been added successfully. Now it's going to say, proceed to domain name verification. Again, just click, you know, try now. And I don't know why it did that. It kind of was freaking out for a sec. But anyways, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to resize my windows here because I want to be able to show you kind of how this is going to work. So on Google Domains, you're just going to go to the DNS tab. Now, again, if you don't use Google Domains, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. You know, Hoover, GoDaddy, Namecheap, they all pretty much are going to be the same. But if you need a tutorial, there's going to be people on YouTube that know how to do this. So um, anyways, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, uh, what is it, custom name servers? No. Um, oh, geez. Just a sec. I forgot how to do this. Okay, it's right here. All right, custom records. So first off, it wants um, what is that again? It wants okay. It wants you to add a txt name record. So let's do that. So this is how this is the verification. So how this is going to work is I'm going to go here, and you're going to leave the host. Now sometimes for the hosting you you'll just put an app. But basically you just want it to be highvelocityrobotics.org. So in Google Domains you just leave it blank, but for some it might just be an app. For type. It's going to be a TXT record, as they specified. The time to live is just going to be, I believe, 3600. Um, again, you want you got to be really careful on, you know, they can get really picky. So, anyways, just copy that, like that. It'll say it's copied, paste it, and like so. And then um, let's see, do they want anything else? Um, no, I don't think they do. All right, then I'm just going to click save like that and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click verify txt record now that might it might not go through the first time um, you have to note that they can take up to um, 48 hours to propagate because you know domains right so you might have to wait for me I got lucky and it just went instantly anyways now we will have to keep we will have to come back to Google domains in a second to finish the rest of the setup but for now let's get started so it says you have verified your domain ownership. You are the super administrator of this do domain, or actually this organization. Create your domain-based email address. So what this means is pretty much you're going to be making the first email address that's at you know in my example at highvelocityrobotics.org. That's all great. What you have to know is that you are this first email address is going to be the super administrator address. So this means that for every other email address, you can change settings, delete emails, all that stuff. How this works is every email address on Zoho has its own password, and so you know, like it's it's more like if you had like multiple you know users in a business or multiple employees, you could give them their own specified login information, because this is designed for business. But you know, you can use it like what I'm doing, which is just you know kind of personal use. But actually, you know, whatever. But pretty much what you want to do is I just like to make it admin. Um, that's what I always like to make it. You can put this your name; it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to do admin because it is the super administrator account. And then it says, give an email ID already exists. I don't know why that is. Um, we'll just do, uh, I don't know, super admin, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's like that. Um, sometimes it does that. But it seems that super admin worked just fine. Okay, so once that's done, it's going to have us do some more steps. So here is this, and we have our first email address. So that's all great and stuff. Um, now we're just going to click to, you know, proceed to setup groups, and you can add more email addresses if you want. Um, you know, group email addresses. You can do all that stuff. I'm going to do that later, but you can do that now. But you really want to worry about is the the DNS mapping, and you'll see you'll see all the scary stuff. Now don't really worry. Um, there's a lot of um, easy stuff here. This looks scary. Trust me. It's really not so Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to here and we're gonna add our MX records now MX records are can be scary But they're pretty simple in Google domains So what I like to do is I just like to go to manage custom records and I like to do um, Create new record and what we're gonna do is an MX record and It's just gonna be your domain name. So like I said Depends on your domain provider, but it might just be an app. For me, it's nothing. All right. So 
the time to live is going to be 3600 and then basically how this works on google domains is you have the priority and mail server so it'll be like you know 10 at whatever.com um or whatever they make the priority now for some the priority will be its own separate box and you can enter that dip you know on its own for google domains they'll they don't have that so just note that that's a thing um Basically, though, we're just going to go to this first one, which is mx.zoho.com. The priority is going to be 10. So, you know, just paste like that and then put 10 before it like so. And then you might think, okay, I need to add a new MX record for the um, other one, right? Well, not really. So what you need to do is just, you know, click copy 20. All right. And then just click add more to this record. So just 20 like that. So they make it really easy in Google Domains. I'm not saying that you should use Google Domains for this. You can use anything you want. I'm just saying, you know, for me specifically, that's what I'm going to be using. And for this, again, it's just going to be 50. So pretty much 50 paste like so. Click Save. Let it do its thing. Um, click Go Back to Manage Custom Records. Um, we're going to go back. And then it pretty much says... Right here we have the SPF record. It's going to be a TXT thing, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that. And again, back to this TXT record, we can just paste that in there. All right, so pretty solid. Um, go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back. And then we have this one other TXT record that I do recommend making its own thing. Because what you'll notice is that instead of having an at or nothing this has its own name so what I like to do is we're just gonna make a new txt record on it so we're just gonna make it a we're gonna paste that in txt um, at the bottom there the time to live is gonna be 3600 um, and then we're going to go back and we're going to copy like so paste it in click save now I'm pretty sure that's everything. So again, you're gonna have a lot of crap, but you know it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be good in the end. So just click verify all records. Now, just click OK. Now again, this might not go through the first time. You might be like, oh, why is it not working? Remember, you gotta wait up to 48 hours. There's possible that you did miss something, but again, you should be all good because it's just a bunch of copying and pasting. All right, now I'm gonna click proceed to email migration. Um, I don't have any data migration, but if you did have, if you're coming from another email provider, um, you can migrate all that stuff. And I don't have anything. And then you can also download the Zoho app on your phone so you can receive, you know, mail on your phone. Again, I'm not going to do that for now, but you can do that if you want. And then it says, congratulations, you're now ready to begin your journey with Zoho Mail. So just click, I'm just going to go to check your inbox and we're going to look at everything that we have here. So, we're going to test a couple of things. So here is your mail. It's a pretty nice looking mail client actually. Um, again, it's just going to ask you a bunch of stuff. Just click skip and click I'll try later and click no. And pretty much here we go. We're at our, um, our like, I don't know, like our, our GUI, I guess. And then anyways, I'm just going to click new mail. And, you know, this is going to be at super admin at highvelocityrobotics.org and I'm going to send to my school address because like remember I'm doing this for a school project so it's just going to be you know my name at you know secret super whatever address and then I'm just going to go to you know test test and then I'm just going to click send all right and then I'm going to go back to my gmail here and this is, you know, mark that as red. And I'm going to refresh. It does take a couple minutes with Zoho, but it should eventually um, come back. And uh, pretty much, we're going to wait for that to send. It, it does take a while, but it should send um, on its own. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, guys. So we did finally get it. It did end up in the spam folder. Sometimes that will happen. Um, again, it shouldn't happen a lot. Um, the more that you have it, the more that your email score is going to build up. So you remember, it, you might end up in spam for a long time, but you should build up eventually, and you'll be to a point where you don't have these issues. Also, part of it is you know Zoho's. You know, there's a lot of abuse that happens with the platform. Again, 
I obviously would recommend other um, platforms before I get I'd get Zoho. But for what I'm doing, it's gonna be fine. If you're a company though, and you rely on email, you know, significantly, I would highly recommend just you know paying the whatever amount of money for, you know, Office 365 or Google G Suite. But for what I'm doing, it's fine. So, anyways, I'm just gonna click reply. I'm gonna be like, you know, yo, um, click send, and it's going to. I'm just gonna report it as not spam. But you know, I don't know why. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go back. Click got it. I get yeah. And then, you know, you'll get some emails from Zoho at first, but again, you know, it's whatever. Um, I'm going to refresh this, see what we're at. And as you can see, we got it back. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I will show you sending from this address to my CoWolf email address. So let me do that real quick. And then I'll pretty much close out this video. Um, I'm just going to do Reese at CoWolf dot com you know that's my e that's my youtube email address test test like so paste and then i'm just going to click send um and there we go there's a lot more you can do with this you can also make more email addresses i'm not going to get into that in today's video though so anyways i'm just going to go to my icloud mail real quick which is where i host my at cowolf.com email so anyways, click go into iCloud Mail. I also am going to have a video on iCloud Mail. You get three email addresses for 99 cents a month. Um, it is a better service, I think, than Zoho because it's, you know, it's a little bit more simpler, not as complicated. But, you know, I will tell you that it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's up to you. But anyways, here it is, guys. Um, as you can see, I got it from um, details and I clicked, you know, this. And then I got it super admin at highvelocityrobox.org. So congratulations. Now I'm just going to click reply. And I'll be like, you know, well, it should work. Um, just a sec. And it's going to be like, you know, hi. You know, or actually, I'll just do hello there. And yeah, I'm not going to spell it right, but whatever. Send it. You get the idea. Anyways, I'm, we're sending and receiving mail. So. You know, you gotta give it some time. You know, you you know your email score has to build up and everything. Um, I've done Zoho a couple times. It does eventually, and it's really only Google that does it. Every other platform, you don't end up in spam. Um, but Gmail, you will eventually get there. You just gotta. It just takes a lot of time. But anyways, guys, we have it there. So um, I'm just gonna refresh one more time. Although we should get it pretty soon so yeah anyways um thank you guys for watching um let's see where we get it from yeah okay we got it so as you know as we can see here you know i got it and that's what we spelled but anyways thank you guys for watching i know this was kind of a scuff tutorial but i kind of hope i explained how this works um a little bit better um i appreciate you know all the support that you guys have been doing in my videos recently um as you know i i just you know I think spending a lot of money on email is kind of ridiculous in 2022 because, you know, things like this, they work just fine. And, you know, there's a lot more you can do with Zoho. It's not just mailing services, but, you know, that's probably the main one. Um, also, with Zoho, you know, it's really designed for businesses. So, you know, it's, you know, five email addresses can be split across five people. It's not all one, you know, account. So, anyways, guys, there's a lot more you can do with this. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching and bye.